Crestwood Middle School students had the opportunity to apply the engineering design process to meet a need of their school by designing, budgeting, and building two rear projection screens. The project began September 19, 2012, when Principal Julie Schmidt was reviewing the requirements for two scheduled assemblies within a week. One of them was Rachel's Challenge, which is an ongoing year-long uh, event that feeds over into the following years. And the other one was Mark Elliott's presentation on tolerance, what makes you tick. You know, they have loads and loads of paperwork that tells us what all the requirements are in terms of um, sound and in terms of screen and it talks about it's crucial that we have an LCD projector um, as well as 10 by 10 foot screen. And we don't have one of those because <laughs> we have a gym that has a stage on it, but we don't have any kind of projection equipment and we didn't have any screens, portable screens that were that large. When we looked into purchasing it was way more money than we could possibly afford. So I approached Mr. Judd, our engineering teacher, and I asked him if his class could work up something that we can use for this. And they were able to come up with a couple different plans which they enacted. The students decided to use shower curtains and overlap them by approximately an inch and then sew them together. They had to be careful not to make too large of stitches. The other team decided to use wax paper as their material for their screens. They would lay out strips parallel and then put another piece on top of it centered in the middle. They would then use warm irons to melt the pieces together. The teams then built frames out of PVC pipe. They then used duct tape to frame the screens before putting grommets in that frame in order to use twine to attach it to the frames that they built. The students used class time, academic enrichment time, and their lunch periods, about 485 minutes total, to work at putting their screens, frames, and legs together. The total cost for both screens came to just over $190, and both screens were done prior to Mark Elliott's assembly. Hey, my name is Mark Elliott, I'm an inspirational speaker on tolerance. I travel all around the United States, to high schools and middle schools and colleges speaking about tolerance. In the past three and a half years, I probably have had close to 450 speeches. Never once at any one of those engagements has a school and students built their own projector system, or uh, not, not projector system, uh, projector screen. Uh, this is unbelievable. And actually, it was pretty amazing as well. So thanks so much, guys. And the end result was we got a pretty cool screen. Thank you so much to you and your class for creating the screen that was absolutely vital that we own in order to pull off this Rachel's Challenge thing that's going to happen on October the 10th. I'm in awe of what they did. They made an amazing screen that we used for Mark Elliott uh, yesterday. And on Monday we're going to try out their other screen with our Rachel's Challenge. In the end, I was pretty proud of all of the kids.